Hey everyone, this is Wednesday, so day three of guide work, really, or day three of dog work, day two of guide work. Hard to believe that, and I'm here with my boy, who's a little tired, but not as much as yesterday. And I wanted to dig in a little deeper to some of the stuff that happened yesterday that I didn't get to share, and to kind of highlight a little bit of today. And, you know, starting yesterday, we began guide work, and that means using the harness. And this is a different harness than some of uh, my, my community is aware of, so I wanted to showcase it. It's, uh, it's a little cleaner in how it connects. There's no extra belly strap, which I really like because that often flops over and gets caught on things. It's super light, probably a third of the weight of the previous harness, and it has a much better quick release for the handle, so I can actually remove that handle completely if I want. So a lot of things I like about it. And I didn't share some of my responsibility in guide work that's really key that we have to learn together. It's signals that I give in nonverbal communication. My position against his body when we're working is so vital. If I'm too far forward, I'm going to slow him down. I'm going to suggest to him that he turn left. If I'm too far back, I'm going to actually be suggesting he turn right. So I have to be in the right position on his body as we're moving around in guide work. And then when we're giving commands for turns, my footwork is so important. As I move my feet, I'm giving him room to take turns and it actually signals him along with all the hand signals. So there's a lot of subtle detail going on in what I have to learn when we do Juno training. That's with a non-real dog as our instructors are kind of making sure we have the commands down and then taking it and working it with our dog to show that we have it and show that we start to learn these commands together. So that's all part of working every turn every halt every step of the way there's some subtlety that you have to work and that gets very important when you learn to how to position your shoulders to hold the line crossing the street handling some difficult stuff and knowing how to trust your dog when it's going to move you around an obstacle and get back online so we're doing all these things and that's why the more we start to understand each other the better it gets to understand what's a real distraction because he does make mistakes like anyone I still make more of them. And then today we started concentrating on how do we handle when he makes a mistake? What are the different types of rework? What's a, what's a passing obstacle where we want to correct it but not indicate to him that he needs to show me it every time? And what's a stop obstacle where he absolutely has to show it to me every time? So all of this stuff is going on. And you know, last night we also did a big grooming lesson and I put that to work this morning. And today was more of a reward day. We came back and went to what was free run, a big fenced in area that he just got to run free after we were sure he'd relieved. And that gave him a chance to just stretch his legs. And what we found is he enjoyed coming to me and being around me more and really got some good tug of war. There's some photos and videos that'll be coming soon. But I just wanted to share how much things are going well still and how much work is being done as we get this team under control. Last thing left today for me here on Wednesday is I have an evening class on the carabiner as a third hand, a way when we're trying to hold the harness handle and maybe dig some treats and maybe we've got to do some other things, we can quick clip a leash maybe into the carabiner or maybe quick clip something that we're carrying. Maybe it's even the harness if we've taken it off him so that we can have our hands free to do some other things. And that's kind of a neat adaptation to get a carabiner on our belt to give us that extra grabbing holding mechanism. So that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more stuff to share.